Matthew 6 and 12, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Forgiving and Alexander Pope says to err is human, to forgive is divine. In reality, it is so easy to say that you forgive, but ever so difficult to forget. Christ-like behavior means when we forgive, we must never bring up that hurt, that offense, that wrong ever again. It must be put away. The evangelical commentary says that the literal meaning of the verse is forgive us our sins in proportion as we forgive those who have sinned against us. If we are so confident about God's forgiveness of all our past misdeeds, then so too must we forgive others. We should not confess to be Christians when we do not forgive our fellow men. Sons and daughters of the Holy Heavenly Father must never think in terms of getting even with their enemies, only of forgiving and forgetting, irrespective of the offense. So, our forgiveness of our fellow man is inseparably from God's forgiveness of our sins. Now, how do you have but love that enables you to forgive and forget? It only happens when you have the love of God. That love comes to you when Jesus Christ, the ultimate example of love, dwells in your heart. Today, remember this. Remember this, to be forgiven by God, we must forgive. Ask God to give you the heart of forgiveness. Allow Jesus into your heart and he will fill your heart with his love. The love that forgives and the love that also forgets. Amen. Father, thank you. Because no matter what we have done to our fellow men, we can forgive them and we can put the past behind us and go into a brighter day. Give us the strength and the wisdom so to do. Amen. Here's my thought for today. Dispel the hurt that dwells within. Lord, forgive me a heart that's free from sin. Have a good day, a great day and a God-filled day.